Amsterdam is full of life, culture, music, history, and art. And the amazing canals in this city really showcase all of these things, so in this video, I'll be taking you through the top canals to visit during your stay in Amsterdam, as well as the best restaurants and hotels to check out. Now, let's get into it. Top Canals Attractions Single this is one of the oldest canals that blends history with today's buzz. Single is around 1.8 kilometers long and links up the IJ Bay and the Amstel River. You can stroll there from the train station and check out amazing attractions like the Royal Palace and the Neue Kirk. There's this house at number seven that's like the superhero of houses, the narrowest house in the world. It's so slim, you'd wonder how people fit in there. And there's this incredible round church called Kupelkirk, which is very interesting. Next up, you've got Haus de Dolphine, an old house with cool steps on the roof. Plus, there's a floating flower market called Blumenmark. Seeing the flowers on the water is just a gorgeous sight. But Singel isn't just a pretty face. It's got a past, too. Back when Amsterdam was just a little town, they dug this canal in 1428. It was like the city's edge until they wanted more space in 1585. Now, it's a hot spot, but back in the days, Singel acted as a barrier against enemies. The Torrens Louis Bridge, the oldest and widest, still stands tall over the canal. There's even a spot under it where they used to have a jail, which is crazy to think about. Heads up, if you're coming by car, parking is a bit tricky, so better to walk or bike. And when you're done with single, check out cool spots nearby like Neue Kirk and the Amsterdam Tulip Museum. Kaisersgracht. This half-circle canal, surrounded by historical buildings, is like walking through a time capsule. Kaisersgracht is like a storybook with houses, warehouses, and incredible churches lining up. There are 14 bridges along this beauty, and the oldest one, Lucas Johns Sinkbrug, is like a charming old timer. And behind those colorful facades, you've got stories of trade, persecution, and families. It's like a history book come to life. First up, check out the Greenland warehouses. They stored whale stuff like fat back in the day. Then swing by number 123, the House with the Heads. It's got very interesting art inside and creepy stone heads outside. Also, don't miss the Kaisersgracht Cathedral at number 566 in Foam, a gallery with awesome old photos. There's also Museum Van Loon that you have to check out, which is a 1600s house turned museum. Oh, and there's a cute bridge, Lucas Jans Sinkbrug, marking the end of Kaisersgracht. Kaisersgracht was born in 1615 and had a bunch of jobs, storing things, sheltering folks. The Remonstrants and Catholics couldn't do their thing openly, so they used the Freiburg as a secret church. Kaisersgracht was meant to be a street, but the fancy folks wanted boat access to their houses. So bam, it became the widest canal in Amsterdam at 28.3 meters. For a fun day, rent a pedal boat to see the canal from a whole new angle. When you're done, Anne Frank House and Westerkirk Cathedral are just a stone's throw away. Prinsengracht, this is a 3.2 kilometer long stretch of beauty right in the heart of the city. You can find historic churches, museums, and cute cafes lining up along Prinsengracht, also known as the Prince's Canal. It's one of the four main canals in Amsterdam, and many call it the most beautiful one. Here, you've got the Westerkirk with its towering bell tower, a 17th century gem that guides the way for Prinsengracht. By the way, you can catch a free Carillon concert on Tuesdays from noon to 1 p.m. here. Now, the iconic Anne Frank House Museum is at the end of Prinsengracht, and for you shopaholics, there's Denegen Stratias, a hot spot for Dutch souvenirs and local stores. And if you ever wondered what it's like to live on a houseboat, Prinsengracht has plenty of them. Take a peek into this unique lifestyle at the Amsterdam Houseboat Museum. After your canal explorations, treat yourself to some Dutch apple pie at Winkle 43. A must try, and I definitely recommend Papanieland, a cafe that's been around since 1641 with delicious homemade apple pie and secret tunnels. Saturday's a market day at Nordermarkt along Prinsengracht. Fresh flowers, local delicacies, and a small playground for the little ones. It's a weekend treat. 
Some things I don't have time to fully cover in this video are flights, the best things to do in this city, rental cars, and finding the best vacation packages. But don't worry, I've still got you. I've linked my go-to website that I personally use for all of this info in the description, so be sure to check that out. Hotels. The Hendrix Hotel Amsterdam Centre. Imagine staying in a hotel that used to be a 17th century warehouse. The Hendrix Hotel, close to the red light district and central station, is all about that history. It's got lamps hanging from shipping ropes and nautical touches that tell tales of the sea. If you want something more unique, go for the basement rooms that were once a vault or snag a room upstairs for views of modern architecture across the water. The Dillon Amsterdam Canal District. Wander through a classy arch into the Dillon Amsterdam, a boutique spot with its own garden in the Canal District. The Loxura rooms are all about a bronze-colored butterfly, which is super interesting. The design is a mix of modern and old-school charm. It's a 10-minute walk from Dam Square, but who cares when you can dive into Michelin-starred goodness at Winkles or chill with some high wine in the lounge? Hotel 7117 Canal District. In the heart of the Canal District sits Hotel 7117, a cool spot with an eye for detail. Think silk wallpaper, Chopard toiletries, and rooms that start breakfast with a little surprise. They've got 23 rooms, each with a simple vibe in blue, beige, and gold. Some are tucked away for small groups, and a few even have bunk beds. Perfect if you're with family. Oh, and breakfast? It's like a little piece of art served with pancakes and waffles. Nice way to start the day. Restaurants. Wolf Atelier. So, you're on a 1920s railway bridge? And there it is. Wolf Atelier. The IJ River unfolds beneath you and the vibe, totally industrial chic. They've got this incredible hazelnut crusted foie gras that I'd recommend. Or if you're feeling daring, you definitely need to dive into their 15 course menu. Surrounded by windows, you'll absolutely want to make it a date with Amsterdam's skyline at Wolf Atelier. Sky Lounge Amsterdam. On the 11th floor of Hilton Doubletree, there's more than just a lounge. It's Sky Lounge Amsterdam. The sunset here is absolutely magical. Panoramic views, string lights, craft cocktails, and live DJs. It's the perfect vibe. Hungry? Snack on delightful bites or go all in with sandwiches and sushi. Casual and chic, Sky Lounge is where views meet vibes. An evening here is unforgettable. Back Restaurant. On the third floor of Het Vame, Bay K Restaurant offers more than a meal, it's an experience. Daily changing menus, a focus on fresh delights, especially for veggies. Pair it with a choice from their extensive wine collection. Minimalist decor, maximum flavor, and stunning views, that's the back experience. Amsterdam is one of the most fun cities I've visited, and after checking out some of the places I've mentioned in this video, I'm sure you'll feel the same. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed it, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you again next time.